Here's a schematic of a particle whose radius is A with a thick double layer. So 1 over kappa is large, which means kappa is small. And the ratio of the particle radius to the thickness of the double layer is simply kappa A. For small kappa A, the Huckel equation relates the electrophoretic mobility to the zeta potential. Epsilon sub R is the dielectric constant of the liquid and eta is the viscosity. You may be familiar with the Huckel equation depending on which instrument you use. The other extreme is a very thin double layer and the Smolikovsky equation is used. It's similar to the Huckel equation, but without the factor of two thirds. Intuitively, that makes sense. You don't have the large cloud of ions slowing the particle. So for a given electric field and zeta potential, the particle will move faster. Then there's the in-between situation where the particle radius and the thickness of the diffuse layer are comparable. Somehow, we need to go from two thirds to one to go from the Huckel model to the Smolikowski model. We can write the equation with a multiplier that is a function of kappa A. This was first considered by Henry in the 1930s. And one of his functions looks like this. There's at least one instrument that incorporates the, this calculation of zeta potential from mobility. The advent of digital computing and powerful numerical analysis has allowed more rigorous models to be developed that look something like these calculated by Overbeck. The choice of model depends on the type of electrolyte and the zeta potential itself. There's quite a discrepancy when you're in the middle region of kappa A. You can see that in this region, the calculated zeta potential will be underestimated if you use the Huckel, Henry, or Smolikowski equations. So how does that tie in with the real world? Because kappa A relates to the ionic strength and the particle size, then we can look at a realistic range of salt concentrations and a realistic range of particle sizes to see just where we'd expect to get significant underestimation of the zeta potential. Here we see the electrolyte concentration tabulated against the particle radius. The pink color shows where we'd expect significant deviation from the models that commercial instruments provide. And it's pretty much most of the real world. And I haven't even touched on measuring the mobility and the assumptions that go along with that.